Hi friends, so I am back. It's been a few hours. I'm home, I'm showered, I'm not as hot as I was before. Um, I just wanna say, it's alive. Literally, my car's check engine light is no longer on. I can drive my car at full speed. There are no more rattles, ticks, booms, any kind of craziness coming from the car. Um, it's pretty freaking amazing. I have never done these kinds of car repairs in my life. Again, I have a brother who I mentioned um, in the description who has fixed engines since he was 14, probably before 14 even. Um, small engines, large engines, he does maintenance mechanic work. He's worked for mechanic companies. He knows what he's talking about. I chatted with him and he walked me through some of the, the tips and tricks. I picked up some things from the videos. Um, but truly, if you want to know how much this was, I added up the things that I had to fix on my car. Um, I started with the air filter because that was one of the things on the list that when I did some research online that it could be. Um, the air filter was disgusting and um, changed that first. That took like five minutes. Um, it was super duper easy to do. I highly recommend don't pay somebody to change your air filters. Anybody, even who's not a mechanic, if you can change your filter for your air conditioner in your house, you can change your filter for the air, for the air in your car. It is literally simpler than changing your air filter in your house. That's number one. That's the first thing I did. It cost me like $15 or so. Next thing I did was, um, as I said before, the spark plug job, because I thought that was the, the problem. Sparked plugs and the, like the, the grease that you use for that. It's not dielectric grease. There's actually a different stuff that you put on the threads of the screw in the spark plug as you're attaching it. Again, it makes it easier to um, release later when your spark plugs go bad because eventually they will. I bought a little sample, like one day packet of that, a couple bucks. Um, and this four spark plugs, under 40 bucks. And then, um, my brother came through in a huge way when I told him that I needed um, coils because the local repair place um, got a quote from them when I found out it was the diagnostic or the I've got like all these grease things in my head. When I found out it was the ignition coils for four, they wanted $210. Which, I mean, it's cheaper than taking the whole car to the mechanic. But when I mentioned that to my brother, he goes, hold on, hold on. Um, there's this guy I buy from on YouTube all the time who is super reasonable. And I'm going to see if they have your parts. So send me the specifics on your car. So it's like a 2.5 liter engine. Um, it's a 2009. And I sent him all everything that he needed. I took pictures of inside of the places on my car I didn't even know existed. That they're labels of what your car needs. I, you know, did a little YouTube and uh, Google research to see if they could find out any more information for my brother. And about an hour later, I got a link to the parts that I needed for ignition coils, $43 from this buy, this guy who sells parts online. Now, uh, I paid for them. Um, it took about a week, not quite a week for me to get my parts. So that's the one disadvantage um, otherwise, I paid like a third of the original price. Um, actually, more like more like a quarter of the original price. Super cheap. I mean, when you're talking two ten for four, and I got four for forty three. Um, definitely worth the wait. Um, the other thing I showed you in the first video was that I had to buy dielectric grease. Everything else was um, a socket wrench set with an extender. Again, I recommend a 12 inch extender um, when you're doing spark plugs, which I didn't videotape because I didn't realize that it was going to be something that I should do. Like to tell women and people out there, like just because you don't have experience doesn't mean you can't consult someone and try it because I'm super impressed with myself because my car has no check engine light anymore. It runs smoother than it has since I bought it. And, um, and so, um, I am going to take it in for an oil change because let's face it, I am not climbing under the car. Um, I'm a 
special education teacher by day. I like to act and perform. Um, my dad fixed everything under the sun when I was a kid, but um, crawling under a car and the potential of the car falling off the supports and everything else, that terrifies me. So oil change also super messy and I don't really have, I rent, so I don't really have my own property to do that job on and I don't want to make a big mess. So that's going to the shop. It's probably 50 bucks and it's worth every penny. <laughs> But in any event, I, I my car runs. It's alive. And um, I did it myself. And all in total, I probably spent about right around $100. And that included the air filter, the spark plugs, and the, the ignition coils. And about an hour and a half of time and about a week of waiting for the other parts to come. So um, don't let this crazy economy get you down and make you feel like you can't do anything to help yourself because I literally took a car that couldn't run. Um, if it got between 30 and 40 miles per hour, the clinking and the churning and it was scary and, um, it purrs like a kitten now. And I did that and that's very cool. So tune in next time. I have no idea what we'll be working on. Um, this channel is for myself. Um, you may sometimes see my brother, um, one of my nieces, uh, my sister, my mom. We all have different things that we like to do. We're always willing to try something new. Um, what made me think I could even do this was the fact that I knew I could call my brother, even though he lives two hours and two states away, um, and ask him for advice. And um, I mean, what's it going to hurt? The car's not running anyway. Um, but also I grew up with um, uh, people that fix things all the time. And so I, um, absolutely feel like if you have any mechanical ability at all, if you have any ability to con construct things, normally I sew, I do, like I said, I do theater. I'm a teacher. Um, my sister makes the most amazing costumes. She's a costume designer and fabricator. Um, I have a niece that is, um, both of my nieces were raised around animals so they can do, um, some, um, they can, they know how to birth sheep. Okay. Um, the younger one works with cows. The older one works with horses. They both are, um, good at archery because of my brother. My brother's probably the jack of all trades. He'll probably learn the most on the channel from him. Um, he is, um, he can fix anything. He was like 10 and he made himself a leaf blower out of an old fan um, that we had a small blades, like a window fan, um, some plywood and some heavy grade plastic. And he made a leaf blower out of it. Still haven't figured that one out, but he's been fixing engines from small to large and big, big things. Um, he's a state worker in where I used to live and he has won awards for saving the state money for the things he can fix. So he's definitely, he's, he knows how to fix all kinds of stuff, not just cars. Um, and then my mom who started it all, um, has always been like jump in and try. So, um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this channel. I hope that, that I can get my siblings and my nieces and my mom to all contribute some of their specialties. Again, I am not a mechanic, but I am super darn proud of myself and I clean up pretty well. Um, yeah, I got all the grease out, uh, except for this one nail. This one nail has a little bit under the finger, but don't worry about getting your hands dirty. Try it. Um, I saved myself several hundred dollars by doing that. Have a great one. Bye.